Hi there, welcome to this quick overview of the Mastering Canvas course. Now this is a course for teachers, anyone supporting teaching or teachers, colleagues supporting students, Canvas course designers or managers. So essentially teachers being the key players here, but obviously it's really important that other people have an understanding of how courses are designed, what the student experience is, etc. And the student experience is key here because in order to do the course, teachers themselves will be students on the Mastering Canvas course. So it means taking part in activities in ways that students would. But specifically, it works as an online course as opposed to uh, a blended course, which is supplementing, I mean, supplemented by face-to-face -face sessions, etc. So let's take a look at the course and how it works. So if I go into the course from a dashboard here, you see there's an introduction there, or a, a welcome announcement, and the course is described. So those are um, staff who've been into the course already, so they've, if they do, I don't know, um, the first module or two, then the next time they come in, it gives them a link direct to the modules page. Otherwise, they'll read the blurb and see how the course works. So essentially, as you work through your the idea is you're gaining in confidence, so you'll start off as a newbie. Once you've done this first section, um, you will earn the newbie badge and you can work your way through to the working at it stage, the getting it stage, and the channeling it stage. And this is the area where we'd hope most people would be, um, would be aiming for rather. And then we have these two sec sections which aren't complete. So to give you an idea then, if I was um, a newbie in this course, I'd go in and I'm ready to start. I click on next. So I get an idea of what the newbie badge requires. So I'm going to learn about the Canvas in interface overview, user settings. I can edit my profile. Now, wherever you see a hand, that's an assignment. So by the time you get to the third page of this course you will be submitting an assignment which in this case is a little screenshot of your profile um, then you'll be taking part in a discussion and learning about notifications so the first module is um, fairly intensive and by the end of it you'll have taken part in two discussions and submitted an assignment so the way it works is the content is chunked so I go to the next page and I have a 5 minute 47 second video to watch. I work my way through and there's another video, 2 minutes 49. And the idea is I watch the video and then I'm going to edit my own profile within Canvas. And I'll keep going. And now I have to submit an assignment. So the instructions are there for what you have to do, but essentially what you're doing is saying, OK, you've added a short biography and a professional picture of yourself to your profile, and you're going to upload the evidence as an assignment in Canvas. So by doing this course, you will be doing the kind of stuff that students on online courses do. Now if I just whiz through the next bit, so there's a discussion here on whether it's important for teachers to have pictures biographies as part of their profile um, and you'll be participating in a discussion now it's not obviously um, you're not going to have necessarily um, cohorts starting this all at the same time um, but it uh, would be a good idea to have somebody who can uh, moderate the discussion and even just like people's posts and that kind of thing um, but this will come out as we as we um, run the, the first group of staff through it And once you get to this bit, this is the key bit. This is about content and modules, etc. So I've curated content I found on the web here. So this is uh, one of the best videos I've found that sort of encapsulates the whole file management, pages versus modules, etc., etc. And then when you get to the next bit, it's another video a bit on student view now these fast track videos are all less than you know they're around about a couple of minutes each and 
the formal canvas ones seem to be a bit longer, about five minutes. And then there's your final discussion. And now you've got your badge, so you're officially a newbie. So that's the basic gist. Uh, if we were to look at, back on the home page, to look at another level, for example, the getting it level. Again, that is um, a similar format, but it's it's less. So there's less content because it's a bit more involved and you'd work your way through. So as a student then, if I go back and I've started the course and I come back a week later or a day later or after a cup of tea, if I go to the modules page, I can then see which bits I've then completed and I can pick up where I've left off. Now it's early days at the moment but if there are to be teachers on the course to monitor progress it's it's really quite simple so whether this is staff development um, or, um, or quality you could click on view progress there. You could have a look at a particular um, colleague there and see that they've completed these first sections but within the getting it stage it's in progress and they've got one thing less left to do within that section there. And obviously later on down the line um, it would be, um, it'd be quite uh, quite interesting to award badges, proper open badges on completion, so things like you know a reward that pops up once you've completed and um, even, a, even a certificate, something like that. But anyway, so this is right now we're in the um, last week of April and this is when we're going to be asking people to go in and try out the course for the first time.